main advantages for the OEM by using steer-by-wire systems is definitely the architectural freedom. Because if I don't have this eye shaft anymore, I can basically place my steering gear wherever I want. As you saw on the previous clip from ThyssenKrupp steer-by-wire technology, it makes perfect sense. What Tesla is doing by slowly introducing the yoke in its cars is part of the autonomous driving strategy that will soon be here. Let me explain why. The yoke makes perfect sense only if you have a variable steering ratio. As shown on this video from ThyssenKrupp, the steering is able to vary its ratio according to speed and steering angle. For example, when cruising on the highway, we want the steering to be calmer to enhance stability and ease of driving. So, on those situations, a slower ratio would be perfect. In contrast, as shown on this variable steering video from next year, when turning into a tight corner, a quicker steering ratio could speed up the response and reduce driver effort considerably. So, when you have a variable steering ratio, you don't need to turn your steering wheel many times to achieve the desired turn circle. As a matter of fact, limiting the steering wheel to turn no more than 180 degrees could enhance predictability and control of the car. Once you limit the turn to 180 degrees, you don't need a wheel anymore and a yoke is the ideal steering device. But it doesn't end there, the best way to implement a variable steering ratio is by using a system called steer by wire. In the next two clips from ThyssenKrupp and Next Year, we can see this technology in action. This is a system where there is no mechanical connections, only cables connect the steering wheel and the actuator which steer the vehicle. The car is only steered using a digital signal with cables or even with a wireless transmitter and receiver. By going digital, you open up a lot of new possibilities. For example, you are free to put the steering device anywhere in the car. You reduce the added weight of many mechanical components. You can stow the steering device or deactivate it when in autonomous mode. But at the end, all these reasons sum up to the main idea behind this. The main idea is autonomy. In the future, we will be able to switch between manual and autonomous driving while traveling by car. In a sophisticated autonomous driving mode, it will be essential that the driver does not intervene in any way, intentionally or unintentionally, in the steering of the vehicle. This increases safety and allows the driver to do other things while driving. Tesla is introducing a change that at first glance seems like a cosmetic oddity. But in the background is a totally new design philosophy that perfectly align with the soon coming autonomy future. In this future, the steering wheel is not needed, it is just another accessory. Moving to a steering yoke is the first step into that autonomy future, along with steering by wire and full self-driving software. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Take care.